everything around us that we call life was made up by people that are no smarter than you. So build a life. Don't live one, build one. My father could have been a great comedian, but he didn't believe that that was possible for him. I learned many great lessons from my father, not the least of which was that you can fail at what you don't want. So you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. Well, you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. Because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path and that will make all the difference. And it is going to get hard and you're going to want to quit sometimes but it'll be colored by who you are and more who you want to be. I definitely found that uh, wanting to be an actor stems from wanting to be somebody. The hardest thing to listen to, your instincts, your human personal intuition, always whispers, it never shouts. Very hard to hear. So you have to, every day of your lives, be ready to hear what whispers in your ear. It very rarely shouts. And if you can listen to the whisper and it's something you think you want to do for the rest of your life, then that is going to be what you do for the rest of your life. And we will benefit from everything you do. As far as I can tell, it's just about letting the universe know what you want and working toward it while letting go of how it comes to pass. And you will need to find your passion. Find your passion and follow it. Don't give up on finding it. As you are responsible for your life. And if you're sitting around waiting on somebody to save you, to fix you, to even help you, you are wasting your time because only you have the power to take responsibility to move your life forward. And the sooner you get that, the sooner your life gets into gear. What matters is now, this moment, and your willingness to see this moment for what it is, accept it, forgive the past, take responsibility, and move forward. So when I think of what is the meaning of life, people ask that question on the assumption that meaning is something you can look for and then what happened. And it doesn't consider the possibility that maybe meaning in life is something that you create, you manufacture for yourself and for others. What do you desire? What makes you itch? What, how would you really enjoy spending your life?